What's up guys, welcome back to the Modern Guitarist YouTube channel. Today we're gonna take a look at how to combine sweep picking and hybrid picking to create some interesting and fluid sounding arpeggio lines. Kind of inspired by Andrew Neri, you know, the amazing Brazilian guitar player. Well, at least I'll try to do my best. Anyway, let's get straight into it. <laughs> Okay, let's take a look at those arpeggio shapes I just played. So the first one, that would be a minor 7 at 11 arpeggio, I guess, if you want to use the jazz language. So it's basically root, and we are in C minor, so root, 4th, 5th, 7th, and minor 3rd. Um, the next one, the next shape is uh, this one, and it's a F minor 9 arpeggio root, minor 3rd, 5th, 7th, and 9th. Then we have this one. And it's basically just a, a C minor 7th ar arpeggio uh, in 2nd inversion. So we start from the 5th, root, minor 3rd, 5th again, and 7th. Then we have the same shape as the F minor, just moved up to C minor, same shape, and then you can, uh, you know, move up to the scale and add some pentatonic or whatever. So really the important thing here is what the right hand is doing, uh, and this is something that I came up with basically to overcome a problem that I had with uh, high picking. So let's say you want to use only sweep picking for this lick. If you do that, it's totally fine, but to me it doesn't sound really fluid, especially when you, uh, when you have to do the up sweep. That never really felt comfortable to me. So I tried to go back to a technique that I'm more familiar with, which is high picking. Basically combine the two things together to achieve uh, what to me is a more interesting sound. Um, it definitely sounds more uh, fluid, in my opinion. So let's take the F minor shape, for example. You see, if you do sweep picking, at the end of the lick, when you reach the B string, you have to come up again and do the this kind of inside string, which I never really liked too much. I always try to avoid it. It doesn't sound right to me, at least for my way of playing. So I thought, well, let's just use I'll be picking for the last string, and then we'll, we'll, uh, we'll come up, we'll do the up part uh, with the sweep picking. So I pick the first note, then hammer on, and then I start the sweep part. And I do the sweeping between the fourth, the D string and the G string. And then on the, on the last note of the pattern, on the B string, I pluck it with my middle finger. So, high repicking. In this way, my pick stays really on, on the same string, so I'll just have to come up again. And it's, it's much, much easier, at least for me, to, to do this sweep picking this way. Instead of, you know, going down, and then you have to change position to return up with the sweep. It's not really comfortable to me. So by doing this way, you have, uh, you kind of have the best of both both worlds. It sounds really fluid, in my opinion. And that's it, basically. That's the pattern, and you just have to repeat it for the other shapes. And also, I encourage you to find your own arpeggio shapes and patterns on which you can use this type of technique. You can basically use it on really every arpeggio. So you can apply it to basically every set of strings. And just 
basically playing small chunks of scales. <laughs> You can even do just three strings like this. So yeah, just get creative, um, experiment as much as you can. And also it sounds really cool when you do the muting at the same time. So this is kind of my approach sometimes when I run into a lick that is not really comfortable for me to play. Um, sometimes I like to cheat a little bit and come back to a technique that I'm more familiar with to try to overcome the problem. And sometimes this can lead to uh, achieving a uh, more personal sound and personalizing things a little bit. And also it helps, in my opinion, to build your own personal vocabulary. For example, I know plenty of guitar players that are not really comfortable with alternate picking while they are monsters in, I don't know, economy picking or hybrid picking, legato. So I'm saying you don't have to learn and be a monster in every technique. You'll, you'll come to a certain point in which you'll have to kind of specialize towards few techniques and really develop your own personality and your own style. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to automatically avoid learning new techniques. That's not what I'm saying. Because trying to overcome your obstacles as a, as a guitar player is also really important for your personal growth. However, sometimes it can be nice to personalize things to your own taste. And why not make licks easier to play for you? I don't think there's shame in doing that. So yeah, I think that's all for today. I've been Giuseppe Gilardi. As always, subscribe and leave a bunch of comments below. Let us know what do you want to talk about in the future videos. Yeah. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.